Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to learn bot framework using Python language. In this tutorial, I'm going to focus on how to deploy into Azure. So before starting uh, in this tutorial, first you need an uh, Azure account. If you don't have it, please create it the Azure account. It's a free tool which is valid for development purpose. You can use it. Or if you already have the Azure subscription, that's good. Okay, we'll uh, move on to Visual Studio Code and we will start how to implement this feature. Okay, guys. Uh, first thing is uh, I don't want to make uh, you know as a beginner I don't want to make it complicate uh, the deployment process. Let's all take care by the extension only. So we don't do anything. We just create the name and we select the language. That's it. So later on we'll. Uh, you know, we'll split the part, how to implement uh, each features, uh, what is the use of each and session and everything. So in the first level, I'm not doing anything. I just enter my uh, app name and language selection. That's it. So automatically take it by the extension. So first thing is you have to install two extension. One is the Azure account to sign in uh, purpose. So Visual Studio, once you sign in, Visual Studio code can access Azure. So second one is the Azure App Service. This is one of the main tool. This guy only going to create uh, all the required stuff for us. I, I already uh, installed. So I don't want to uninstall and install it again. Leave them. So once you installed, you can, here you can see the left side one icon it will come Azure account. So if you click it, First time if you are logging, the prompt will ask your username and password. Maybe it will go to browser and uh, once you approve it, it will automatically come back here. Please sign it. I already signed, the, I already signed this account, so I don't want to do it again. Okay, let's we'll start the deployment process. So first thing is, um, what I did is I just create the new web app. So name of the my application. Name of the application I would say test bot test python bot python bot in Azure. This is my name of a web app. And so once you Know, type next it will ask uh, okay in which application you are using python or dotnet or node.js or java something like that i selected python is a 3.8 i selected so once it's selected here you see it's started and uh, in the down all the registration process is take care So application inside uh, resource group. So if you if you are not created any resource group in your Azure account, no problem. Automatically app service it create for you here. The name of this one app SVZ Linux uh, Central US. So default uh, this guy uh, taking the Central US as a location. You can change it later. The initial process automatically take care. Okay, and. Uh, application inside is not required for us right now and other stuffs so now it's creating the new web app it's created fine deployment let it be there we don't want to do now so I just close it next I move to shell studio sorry Azure account I just refresh it If you come down here you can see the um, here you can see our application and this is a application inside leave it at the moment so our main focus here only app web app so test python bot in azure click it fine so seems to be it's created fine okay next step we have to go to here deployment center 
ओके सो वी हैव टू अपलोड द कोड आवर वेब ऐप इज रेडी सो विच नो आवर बॉट कोड शुड बी अपलोड नो अपलोड एंड शुड स्टार्ट रनिंग ऑन दैट फॉर दैट देर आर डिफरेंट ऑप्शन प्रोवाइडेड बै एज यूर विच ओन यू आर कंफर्टबल यू कैन यूज इट लेट से फॉर एक्सापल इफ यू वॉन्ट अपलोड वाई एफ टी पी आर लोकल गिड आर गिड हब आर डवाप्स अज्यूर रपर्सरी आर बिट बकेट I would select the GitHub. Okay. Uh, if first time you not logged in, uh, if you click it, it will ask authentication and everything. Okay. I already logged in, so it's asking continue. Okay. If uh, uh, ask username password, please enter it. Then validation is success. Then automatically this button will come. Okay. Before that, I jump into my GitHub. Here I created one uh, GitHub uh, repository called uh, Python Bot Azure. Uh, uh, here I already uh, uploaded one sample which uh, we seen in the hero card. Okay. In this one I created a new file called requirements.txt file. Here I just mentioned Bot Builder Core is required. what are the you know to run this application which is a main package is required pip package so that we have to mention it here in the requirement dot text so bot builder core and uh, http that's it i make it this private repository so if you come and see it won't visible for you and want to here back to azure so click the continue i selected github and continue next thing is okay which pipeline you want to use or actions you know who take care of the build process whether github actions or azure pipeline or uh, kudu this guy will take care which one you want to select uh, default i will select this one and uh, click here build provider and the source control everything selected now this is the configuration part this configuration part it will display the you know your azure account here and repository you have to select which repository you want so i will select uh, python python bot azure so branch if you have you know so many branch in your account here only one branch is there master branch your developer account or something whatever it is so it will display here branch default only one branch is there so i selected master and continue finish so now that deployment started okay here you can see that setting up the deployment just close this one let wait for some time some minutes deployment data hope it will come fast yeah fine so something is going on still that's what a pending message is coming uh, meantime if you go and click the logs here you can see see the logs what's going on uh, behind uh, if you click the show logs here you can see the you know status what's going on the background okay let it be there i don't want to disturb here let's running and uh, meantime i open one more tab let it run okay now come back to here and go click the home bot service so once click this one we have to register our channel you now to how to execute this application that's the reason uh, this uh, bot service coming click the add button and bot channel registration and click the create so we'll see here or oh, still is going on fine you know the name of the channel i would say test python bot 
in Azure channel yeah channel and select the subscription type under resource group we already have that resource group uh, this one Linux I selected and location default I don't change it anything here because uh, I'm still maintaining the same uh, central yes only oh success let it be there okay now select the for testing purpose uh, you can select f0 and message endpoint this is a very important one okay in which endpoint I should connect to my bot yeah so that we have to provide here so go, go to this one click the overview yeah this is a URL just copy and go to channel registration paste it and slash add API slash messages messages application inside not required for us right now so default uh, uh, app ID and password it will create so click the create button so now the channel registration it's preparing so our basic stuff it will ready on in few minutes it is going maybe because of internet it's slow yeah validation success now the deployment is going on here you can click and you can see the deployment in progress yes it's done click the go to resource okay our channel is ready and go to the settings first thing is click this manage and delete this one this is uh, you know uh, password app password delete it and add the new password maybe I will put um, like test demo add so the new password it's creating copy this one copy to clipboard okay go to our github account uh, click this app dot python file actually this one we can uh, you, you have to put into the config file and uh, refer it here uh, just this is a basic uh, you know deployment process so i don't want to create a separate config file and everything later of the this video series tutorial we'll learn about that one so uh, right now i just directly go and add it edit the file this is a password column this uh, bot framework adapter settings i change to my new password yeah uh, next one is uh, go to settings and copy this one this is a app id copied and i paste it here yeah so done i have to check in this file i mentioned updated app id and password commit changes okay go to here go to deployment center once the check-in is done automatically the de deployment started here so the build is going on if you click this uh, logs show logs here you can see that deployment is in process let it be there yeah success okay fine so next one if you go here here we are connecting to our bot this is a web chat client let's say if I type hi no message no reply if you go to channels here you can see there is error there was an error sending this message to your bot code internal server error okay that means 
oh sorry our application is not running deployment started application is not running how to start the application for that you have to come to configuration section and click the general settings here you have to give the command once the deployment everything success execute this command so just already have it here this uh, uh, kunicon and bind this one and timeout okay this is a general statement actually this is this guy used to to host the you not know, to trigger the http server uh, our main thing is we have to focus on this one okay this app colon app what is that okay let it be i just copy right now i will come soon back here and i will explain let it there save if you go to okay we go to here our github this one nothing this app that app your file name app colon your object flask object so once this is specified this this guy will start this application okay so save is done again go to overview just restart click yes restarted so go to our channel registration test web in web chat now type hello see our same you know hero card it did uh, the output display here so i nothing i just copy paste the same code and uh, put it in the separate uh, separate repository and i configured here okay that's it guys that's it guys i hope uh, you can understand uh, this process thanks to all bye